What's up, everybody? Welcome to Buzz YV TV, and I'm your girl, Lady T. So, I was just on my way out the door, and I came across some disturbing news. So, I don't know if you guys know, but again, if you don't, I'm here to tell you. So, as you guys know, about a week ago, Mel B, a.k.a. Scary Spice, filed for divorce from her husband, Stefan Belafonte. Now, put it down in the comments. If he if he related to, like, Harry Belafonte and Sherry Belafonte, them folks, let me know. But anyway, so it was announced a week ago that she had filed for divorce from her husband, from Stefan. Well, now, according to TMZ, bscott.com, and other news outlets, she has not only filed for divorce, but she's actually filed a restraining order, order against Stefan. Apparently, he has been verbally, very verbally and physically abusive over the course of their marriage. Um, she states in the petition for restraining orders that every time it seems as though she would get a a big opportunity, he would take that opportunity to physically abuse her. Like when she was doing Dance with the Stars, he choked her up really bad. Um another incident, I think she was singing the national anthem at the Olympics in the UK or something like that. He he choked her so hard that she had, you know, fingerprints all around her neck. And then they said during the X Factor, a lot of times she came in there back, you know, beating them bruised up and they had to, you know, cover up the bruises. Now, okay, now that was released, I believe, yesterday. Well, now there is new information, you guys. Apparently, not only are these her claims, but there are also witnesses. She has friends that will attest that, you know, they tried to help her. But Stephen, Stephen, I'm sorry, Stephen, you know, shunned people away. And then also producers, you know, seen her come in. Again, like I said, battered and bruised. It was one time specifically where she was so battered and bruised that she couldn't even make it to a taping of the X Factor that she had to call off for that taping and then she came back and said she fell over I think some Louis Vuitton purses or something however the case may be um you guys can look it up I believe she even took that to social media one time when she got all battered and bruised talking about you know she fell because to find out Stefan was beating her butt like, he was straightened up beating her ass. And I just feel really bad because you just never know what goes on in these people's lives for real. Like, we go around here, myself included, because I'm a blogger. We go around here, you know, reporting the story or reporting what we hear, and, you know, in the streets or whatever. And... These people, at the end of the day, are human, and they go through it just like everybody else. And I just feel so bad because, you know, they've been married for over, like, 10 years. And this is what she's been going through. And I know a couple of people I've been reading in the comments, a couple of people have been like, well, you know, she's just not leaving. You know, what took her so long? And I'm like... What she's going through is no different from what a lot of women who are in those situations go through. A lot of people stay in those relationships, first of all, because they love them. Then second of all, they probably tend to blame themselves. And, you know, a lot of people, especially when they're married, they invested so much in this marriage. And they have kids, so they stay in for the kids. It's so much that goes on and why people stay in these abusive relationships. Not just women, but men too. You know, men have been caught up in abusive relationships as well. And again, it's a lot of factors why people stay. So I'm not going to go on and judge and be like, well, 
why she just now decided to leave. I give her props and the utmost respect for getting out before it's too late. That's all I care about. All I care about is that she got out. And I hope that her coming forward will speak to a lot of people who follow her or people who did follow her who just come across the story and read her story. I hope that speaks to them, you know, and help them to be able to see what's going on in their lives and gives them the courage to, you know, get out of these abusive relationships as well. Because, you know, a lot of times we we witness these relationships or we go through them and we kind of, I don't want to say be nonchalant, but we don't take it as seriously as we should. A lot of people have died from domestic violence. I personally had a family member who died from domestic violence, okay? And she never reached her 21st birthday. So this shit is real, y'all. This ain't nothing to be played with. This is nothing to be like when you see somebody get hit. Like, oh, that's their bitch. I'm not going to get involved in their relationship. And I know it's hard. It's a very fine line when you want to speak about people's relationships. Because a lot of times they sit up there and attack you and end up being back with their abuser. I understand that. But me honestly and me personally, I'd rather... I'd rather speak up and have my conscience free of knowing that I spoke up and I expressed my love for you than to just keep my mouth closed and something very, you know, dangerous happens. So, anyway, I just, you know, prayers up for Mel B and her family. You know, I think about, again, a lot of people were like, well, you know, what took her so long? You got to think, too. She's been married before. She's went through that whole public thing with Eddie Murphy, too, about the fraternity test. And, you know, she's been through a lot, so she just didn't want to probably deal with another failed relationship. A lot of women think like that, too. Like, they don't want to deal with another failed relationship. They don't want to have to deal with starting over. So, I just, like I said, prayers out to her. And I just hope a lot of people take what she's going through to heart you know if you're in a physical relationship physically abusive relationship or even a verbally abusive relationship because sometimes them hurts cut you way deeper than them you know than them blows that they give you so i just hope that you know if you are in an abusive relationship that you're able to get out anyway y'all to next time peace and love. Oh, before I forget you guys, please do not forget to follow me on all my social media. You know, I'm on Twitter. It's I Be The Cute One. I'm now on Instagram, y'all. You guys can find me on Instagram at buzzworthy underscore TV. Uh, I'm going to be doing a whole lot of live chats and, you know, little pop-up videos on there. So, Please, y'all, follow me on Instagram. I'll put the I'll put the name and everything in the description box. All right, y'all. Bye bye.